Hi everybody, I'm a little frustrated with the blink charging. I was putting a video together for you guys just to give you an idea about charge rates and pricing and I really thought it was going to be the pricing that was going to be the biggest variance between some of these uh, type 2 charger chargers and the companies. However, when I started to do a little bit more research and started to charge my car around the city, I noticed that Blink is really coming in at a much slower rate. And the reason for that is because of the amps. If you notice here, they are only running at 24 amps. And so with that, we're getting a total of 19 miles per hour. And now the car has been charging for a while, so the battery's warmed up, and so that's the maximum that this charger is able to handle. Now, when we look here, you will see that we are now running 30 amps. And when we're running on 30 amps, that is providing us 22 miles per hour. Now, I just plugged in the car here, so that's already providing us more mileage. And the biggest part of this is that the Blink is charging me 49 cents a kilowatt hour as a member, 59 cents per kilowatt hour for non-members. And the charger that I am at right now is provided free from the city. And so I just find it interesting that the company Blink, who is trying to go public and sending out uh, emails to all the members to join in and get in on the IPO, I just find it very interesting that the chargers that they are providing are already antiquated and is running uh, on a lower amp amperage than some of the other ones provided by the city for free. Now, I know this isn't a huge deal, but when you're needing to charge your car and time is very important, those few extra miles per hour can really make a difference. So, if we look over here, if you can charge from home off of a 50 amp Tesla charger, that is more than likely going to give you the best bang for your buck. As you can see, we are now charging at 43 miles per hour. And most homes have the best price per kilowatt hour. Now, this will vary depending on the state and the city and the electric company that you use. However, I have noticed unless the city is providing the chargers free, then most of these charge point and blink chargers are going to charge you a premium to use their chargers. Now, it's gonna be up to you to look in the area. I have noticed there are good apps such as PlugShare that you can use to find the local chargers in your area. A lot of times it's already listed the price for using that charger. Sometimes it's just the charger fee, other times it's the charger fee plus uh, parking rates in a particular area. So you're going to want to go ahead and look into some of the infrastructure around you and see what makes most sense. It might turn out that hiring an electrician to come in and wire things up for you so that you can run a charger at your home may be the best. Now you might say, well, I can just plug in at night and so I don't really need to charge that quickly. And if that's the case, that's great. A lot of you might already have plugs already in your garage or near where you park that you're able to plug in your car and when you get home from work or any time that you're at the house, just plug in and you can as we say trickle charge and that might not be an issue for you so what you're gonna wanna do is really look into and see what makes the most sense for you in regards to charging 
but as I was doing this video for you guys I just kind of was taken back by I I thought at first that all type 2 chargers were the same and it turns out that it's just not the case so I'm doing this as a little bit of research for you guys so that you can learn more about how to charge your car and if you have any questions for me please let me know uh, you can subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you learned something new and please share with your friends and I will see you all very soon thanks for watching